The Beast can never be slayed as Brock Lesnar looks set for a return to the WWE. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. And after the whole Vince McMahon, Jarrell Grant thing, Brock Lesnar getting thrown under the bus. Brock Lesnar seemingly getting a WrestleMania 40 appearance taken away from him. Possibly the end of his WWE career. It looks like he might be back. It looks like it might not all be over for Brock Lesnar. He was even taking out the WWE 2K24 game, which I doubt Brock Lesnar really cares about. But who knows? I'm assuming there's going to be some form of royalties that he might not get, or he probably will still get, to be honest, because he is in the story mode. But anyway, I doubt Brock Lesnar is sitting around playing games to actually find out that he's not included. But... Two of the most honourable men in wrestling. Two of the most knowledgeable men in wrestling. Two of the most sacred news reporters in wrestling. Yes, you guessed them. Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez. They have said that Brock Lesnar is about to return. The WWE are actively trying to get Brock back. So therefore, it must be true. So there was a lot of rumours anyway. So Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez, it's not like they are coming out with this scoop here, it's not like they're the only two suggesting that Brock could be coming back pretty much Brock's been trending now for the last, what, 48 hours 72 hours, ever since being reinstated on the WWE roster page so, yeah, Brock Lesnar probably only a matter of time before he comes back I think he should be coming back, he didn't do anything wrong, he just got literally chucked under the bus because he was somehow a name that was associated with Mr McMahon during this whole Janelle Grant thing, but Brock's le Brock Lesnar's only crime here is owning a mobile phone and you can't fire a guy, you can't get rid of a guy, you can't erase a guy, you can't give a guy the Chris Benoit treatment over that, certainly not, anyway this is what Brian Alvarez had to say regarding WWE making moves to bring Lesnar back. He says, quote, In the last few days, there have been moves regarding Brock Lesnar. If you listen to the show last night with Dave Meltzer, everything we talked about is accurate, other than the roster page. There are movements to bring him back. End of quote. So, Alvarez must have got something wrong. He's talking about everything we said was accurate other than the roster page. So maybe Alvarez says he wasn't on the roster page. Or maybe they said he was never removed from the page in the first place. However, they appear to have been called out for some bullshit. It's not often you would see these guys admit to making a mistake. So obviously they've said something that wasn't true. And people have uh, pulled them on it. But uh, Alvarez went on to say, quote, I should add regarding Brock, I'm not saying he's going to be back. I have no idea if he's going to be back. I wouldn't bring him back, but I can tell you there have been inquiries made. And what that means, we will wait and see. It seems like a bad idea to me. Put it that way. End of quote. So, I mean, Alvarez saying that WWE are trying to bring Brock back. Then they say that he's not coming back. They won't commit to whether he is coming back or he won't come back. It's almost like these guys are just throwing shit against the wall, hoping that something sticks. And they're covering their ass on both ends. So that if he does come back, they can say, we told you so. And if he doesn't come back, well, they can say, we told you there was no guarantee. We didn't say he was coming back. I mean, like, what is the point? That's not really fucking news. That would be like me tossing a coin and saying, well, there's a chance it lands on heads, but it may also land on tails. I mean, come on, that's fucking pointing out the obvious. Why do these guys need to do this? Why is this news? People are paying for this. People are, le people are legitimately paying for Alvarez to say that WWE are trying to bring Brock back, but he might not come back. I mean, what the hell? Obvious. No shit. Either comes back or he doesn't. There's only two options, and you're betting both. So, yeah, typical for Alvarez, typical for Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer. I think Brock will come back. He shouldn't have been fired in the first place. He shouldn't have been removed in the first place. Alvarez is saying he wouldn't bring him back. I mean, fuck Brian Alvarez. Look at this little guy. Claims to be a professional wrestler. Then look at Brock. I mean, just look at who is the star. Look at who should be in a ring, and look at who should be, I don't know, behind a fucking computer screen talking shit like me. So, yeah, Brock Lesnar. 
he is a star. I want him back. I want him back in the game as well. What a shite game. Paid 70 quid for WWE 2K24 and you can't even play as the beast. Need to get that sorted. Bring Brock back. And you know, if it was an injustice against somebody that the, the wrestling fans love, they'd probably be petitioning. They'd probably be ranting and raving and crying on social media. They'd be protesting. But because it's Brock Lesnar, nobody cares. The guy has been wrongfully removed, but people are happy for it. People are willing to accept it because they don't like Brock Lesnar, they don't like Suplex City, I mean it's so fucking phony guys, had a fan favourite, being treated this way, the, the, the fans would be in uproar and they'd be complaining and they'd be demanding that their person, their favourite wrestler got brought back, so it is what it is guys, I'll catch you in the next one, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe and peace.